Welcome to this presentation of SHM Live by Raptors Group. What is SHM Live? It's an integrated solution for structural health monitoring, including the design of optical structural health monitoring systems to address the owner's needs and questions, installation, operation, maintenance of all required hardware, data management and web interface, data analysis and interpretation all offered as a fixed monthly fee. First step, design methodology. We will identify structures needing monitoring, including critical or representative structure, acquire information on probable degradation mechanisms, risks and opportunities from design engineers and owner, and establish expected responses to those degradation or to available reserve capacity in the structure. This allows to design an optimal structural health monitoring system to detect such responses and then select the appropriate sensor. With this methodology, we will be able to offer a structural health monitoring system that is able to answer the questions from the owner. In the second step, we will proceed with installation, operation and maintenance of the structural health monitoring system. Structural health monitoring uh, includes financing of old hardware, installation and operational cost, and a fixed monthly fee replaces a capital investment. We will install, test the sensor and the data acquisition system, perform real-time performance monitoring at regular recalibration, maintain all installed components and replace any defective component uh, covered by the extended warranty. These services will be offered by qualified local partners. Once the data is acquired, it's managed through our web interface. The data is automatically transferred from the structure to the online secure database. Different levels of authorization for access to data are possible, so that different owners can see different uh, level of detail of the data and interact in different ways uh, with the data itself. We can also generate complex warning and alerts and uh, represent the data in different ways. The web portal also serves as a hub storing documents, report and facilitating communication among all the stakeholders. All communication cost and data hosting is also included in the monthly fee. Let's have a look at how the web interface works. This is the login page where each user uh, will enter the system with its own username and password. Once inside the uh, secure website, each user will see a list of all the projects for which he has a certain level of authorization. Color coding will also show any project where warnings or pre-warnings have been generated. By clicking on a project, you can see an overview of the latest event latest uploaded files and latest notebook recordings. Once you enter in a specific project, then you can see additional details about the project location and status. You can see the configuration of the different sensors installed in the structure, including their calibration, position and other parameters as well as a list of different standard and custom views that have been created to facilitate the representation of the data. Let's see now some of the views that can be generated. This is a simple overview of all sensors installed in the structure with their latest measurement. It's also possible to move back in time to see the previous measurement from all sensors. This is a table view where a selected number of sensor and a selected time scale was selected and also uh, color coding indicating the different level of uh, pre-warning and warning that are activated on different sensors and times. The same data can be represented as a graph uh, which is uh, clickable and zoomable. Clicking on the individual point will show details of the measurement, including the time and the measurement and the sensor on which the measurement was performed. Finally, um, the data can be superimposed with a picture or a drawing of the structure, again with color coding 
according to the level of warning that is uh, reached. Also in this representation, the user can move forward and backward in time to see how those values have evolved uh, in the history. This is a detail of how a new view is created. First, we define which measurement sessions must be included, uh, defining the first session that we want to see and the last one. It's also possible to define that we want to see, for example, the last five days of measurement. So each time this view is recreated, the last five days will be uh, displayed. The second step is to define how to show the data. So we can define the default visualization, a map, a graph, or a table, and select the background picture that we want to show in map view. Then we select the different sensors among the one available in the project that we want to show in the view. And finally, we define the pre-warning and warning level, as well as the conditions that would trigger an alert, for example, sending an email uh, to the uh, user to notify of a new uh, warning. These events are displayed in the event page that uh, summarizes all uh, warning, pre-warning and information events, including receiving data from the data loggers that are installed on the structure. Each project also has this notebook where uh, the users can record the different events that happened on the structure or on the system so that the data analysis will be made easier by comparing the numerical data with this additional information about the history of the structure. Each project also has its own library where different files can be uploaded, included installation plans, calibration reports, measurement analysis reports, pictures, and any other file that is useful to keep track of the project. Finally, additional users can be allowed to access the project. Each user can have a user interface in his own language, and also different users can have different roles. For example, one user might be allowed only to see the data, another one can create his own views, and uh, an administrator can create new users to the project. Finally, the fourth step of the SHM Live approach is data analysis and interpretation. The data is first verified for its plausibility, and then the data is interpreted in line with the original questions defined by the owner. Then a prognosis on the condition of the structure and the need for action is performed and recommendations are issued to the owner. In case of alerts, there will be an immediate reaction according to a plan predefined by ISHM Live and the owner of the structure. These engineering services are also offered uh, in cooperation with qualified and trained local partners to give uh, local and rapid support to the owners. So why is SHM Live different? First difference is that all hardware and services are offered for a single and comprehensive monthly fee. All data is available 24-7 through an online portal. System installation and maintenance is offered through qualified local partners. Data analysis and interpretation is offered through qualified local engineering companies. And the owner receives actionable information which answers the question he has asked at the beginning of the project. What does that offer to the owners? A methodology to reduce uncertainty about structural condition and performance, a tool to take informed decision on repair, replacement and maintenance strategies, actionable information that he can use to manage his structures in an optimal way, all at a fixed monthly fee, including all services and hardware financing. Also, the service is provided in cooperation with local partners. Finally, in conclusion, SHM Live is a change in paradigm in structural health monitoring. It brings together all actors needed to contribute to an optimal structural health monitoring system, including engineering, supply, installation, operation, and analysis. 
This makes structural health monitoring accessible to a much larger number of owners and structures, thanks to a simplified project management and a straightforward cost structure. So please enter SHM Live. Thank you for your attention.